All right, match 15 in the FFT Arena AI Tournament Season 3. Uh, we're almost done with round one, and we just need to fill on a couple more passengers to go into the Doom Train. So, Reno, uh, Asakawa, let's hope that either, either one of you end up on the Doom Train at this round. But we are going to see what happens from here. Reno has Unit 1, the Thief. Unit 2, the Ninja. Unit 3, the Archer. And unit for the time age to go over this team very quick. I have um, done. I have ran a few matches with this team on on a stream before. Um, this is a item bot thief, but with two hands, platinum sword. Uh, he'll be doing a lot of damage. Uh, flies there so that way the thief won't be screwed over by terrain or um, any any further restricted movement. Um, he does carry um, counter, so that way if someone tries to melee him in his face, there's a good chance he'll be able to counteract, and then uh, it would do lots of damage. Twist headband's there to add further PA to the Platinum Sword. Rubber Cosm is there for Lightning Absorb as well as Water Absorb. Angel Rain for the re-raise. Nothing too shabby there. Carries all the items in the game, and he also has Quickening, Steel Heart, Steel Accessory. So this thief, ex expect this thief to get like maybe one turn of Quickening in. Unless he gets his MP healed, of course, so... He's only going to be using Quickening once, and then he just fly forward from there, pretty much. Uh, the Ninja, with Attack Up and Abandon. Um, very hard-hitting unit, with the Hidden Knife Ninja Knife. Green Beret to add extra movement. Power Sleeve to add even more power. Um, comes with Omi Kajusogi, and also carries uh, Accumulate, Throw Stone, Heal, and Wish. Don't know how often this Ninja is going to be accumulating, but to be honest, I don't think he's really going to need it considering he does does enough damage enough as it is um but yeah very solid offensive unit very solid we have an archer here with magic tech up blast gun kaiser plate pilgrimage all that combined makes it hurt a lot uh projectile guards there to um help the archer get protected against enemy gunners or any other enemy archers that may come in his way. He can also use his blast gun to heal the thief. Um, and also heal the time mage who I'll get to in a second. This archer carries... Um, arm aim, seal evil, hawk's eye, execute, armor break, weapon break, sigma magic, and revive. Well, sigma magic and revive from the punch art setup. And the rest I mentioned before come from snipe. And of course we have a support time mage here with 10 speed. Uh, one thing you might have noticed already, everyone on Reno's squad has 10 speed. I uh, just thought I'd point that out very quick. Uh, the Time Mage has a Mace of Zeus because she can absorb lightning. White Robe to have the damage done by Fire and Ice. Spence Shoes there just to add the extra speed and Golden Hairpins there to add some MP. Um, she has Haste 2, Slow 2, Comet, Sinkhole, Demi 2, as well as Cure 3, Cure 4, raises 1 and 2, Wallace and a Holy. So do expect this girl to do some holy sniping and to get a good shot at, at her demi spells as well. Damage split is there, so she can take maybe one or two hits, hopefully. Uh, we're gonna have to wait and see. Um, Kai mages are known for the relatively low, low HP, so hopefully for her sakes, damage split can keep her up. Asakawa, meanwhile, has Nusumo the Lancer, Kunio the Geomancer, Asakawa the Priest, and Rune the Paladin. Starting off with this Lancer here. He's meant to be a martial arts Lancer with Punch Art. Overwhelm will do more damage with Jump. He also does have PA save. So the more he gets hit. Hopefully in his case the more, more PA is going to stack up. And the Punch Arts are going to really hurt. Especially if the Lancer decides not to Jump. Um, he doesn't have a lot of PA starting off though. He does have a good amount of evasion. At least physical evasion. And also has Reflect Mail, so he'll be temporarily uh, immune to some spells. Mythal Helm, just to prevent slow and stop. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. He has all the punch arts except for Secret Fist. So do expect this Lancer to get like Wave Fist and Earth Slashes in. Maybe even Repeating Fist, who knows. Um, but still, his jump should do decent damage. Um, like I said... PA save needs to stack up. It needs to stack up in a hurry for this Lancer to damage to really matter. The Geomancer, and look at that 15 MA with Talk Skill. 
We're looking at very, very accurate. Um, see, very accurate talk skills like blackmail, mimic, Dervon, refute. The only talk skill he doesn't really have is um, preach and solution. He does have persuade, but I don't see persuade being used very much, if not at all. Uh, but his elemental should hurt a lot. He also has MA save, so that way, um, should he get hit, um, MA save can just continue to stack up. Not sure why you have 70 faith on this unit. Um, unless you're unless you're aiming for higher chances for a race two, of course, but and no matter. I mean, you could switch to zodiac sign since this priest who I'm about to get to in the second has Ares and best compat has Libra. You could have made him a best compat Libra too, and lower his faith some. But I don't know. I guess I guess it's your call. I suppose. Magic attack up obviously boosts the damage done by elemental. And teleport can make this Geomancer um, pretty mobile. Actually, he won't be screwed over by terrain or or restricted or restricted uh, pathways. So, kudos to hit, kudos to you for that one. The priest um, comes with counter flood and an elf mantle, so she has a decent amount of evade there. Typical support priest has all the white magic and time magic spells she can get, except for maybe haste one and slow one. But those spells have like crap accuracy, so. It's good enough. Uh, short charge, the right uh, support ability for this priest. Because then you want her uh, spells to go off as quick as possible. And move MP up so she can keep casting those spells. And a sitting paladin with high HP and unyielding so he can tank quite a bit. Is immune to rub is immune to lightning, wind, and water thanks to the platina shield and the rubber shoes. Masamune for the initial haste. My only complaint about this unit is, well, he has a lot of unnecessary skills. Like, okay, he has all the chivalry skills with the exception for um, Grand Cross. But considering he has 40 Brave, I don't think he really needs Southern Cross for that matter either. They're just going to do just crap damage. Yes, it's AoE, but if you want a better damage, you probably could have done like maybe Concentrate and with like 70 Brave, to be honest with you. Yeah, Concentrate would have been fine because you can nail those guaranteed Southern Crosses and they can actually do a decent amount too. <laughs> And you have a lot of songs. In fact, all the songs except for Battle Song. Um, I this Paladin to me kind of lacks a focus. Like, is he going to be focused on pumping the MA with uh, with the Magic Song? Is he focused on keeping allies alive with Life Song? I mean, I don't exactly know the point of his unit. I mean, he's going to be switching up songs a lot. So, don't know where that came from. Um, I do like your Geomancer and your Priest. Your Lancer, while I do appreciate uh, anti-stats, evasion, and reflect in 10 speed, he is going to need to be hit a lot to get the PA saves to stack up, and then the damage output is going to matter. That's all I can say, so with that said, we're going to map 21, Zeltania Castle. This is the same map that um, Saudi and Maroth had their first round matchup, and so shall be you two. Reno's in the yellow, and... Asakawa's in the black. Unit 1 gets a quickening off the bat, and Nusumo goes for a wave fist, Thief blocks it, and the archer's in range for that Lancer, no PA save though, and the Paladin starts to sing. Ace 2, yep, from the Time Age, gets everyone in Reno's squad, and the Geomancer will rush forward, goes for a refute, Getting rid of haste and re-raise, very smart. And see the priest is casting a reflected holy onto the lancer, from on off the lancer onto the sea. It's not permanent critical though. And the lancer goes down immediately. There's nameless song, and the paladin does get protect. The geomancer gets picked off at, but he does get an MA save out of it. The geomancer um, is about to be hit with a comet. Reno is definitely opening up the onslaught already. And down he goes. The priest is going to revive the Geomancer, actually very smart. Reflect and protect. Let's see, can a ninja cancel it? Only a poison proc. That's... And it crit on the... It was a knockback on the first strike too, so... Not good for Reno. But he is still in this match. 
another MA save that time under the uh, Geomancer. Paladin goes for more Nameless Song. Didn't see who it hit, but I'm willing to say no one. But yeah, that Geomancer's dead. And the Paladin's gonna be dead too. He's already 4 on 1. St. Cole to stop the singing. There's a damage split though. Thief hits the Steel Accessory, so now the Archer can hit him with the Blast Gun. And hardly any damage done. That's why we do the Paladin's Protect from Nameless Song and on Yodin with 40 Brave. But Demi 2 can bring him uh, down very quickly. And Kajisoki just to finish him off. So Reno takes round one. We're going to round two. Round two is about to get underway as we are now on map 54, the Lost Sacred Precincts. Everything in round one pretty much went Reno's way. Geomancer was not going for more Geomancer, he went for more top skills. That's what I think cost uh, Asakawa round one. We can see how round two shapes up actually at this point. This being a much larger map, both teams a little bit more spread out. And there's more room for people to get away. So the priest is going to go for a haste two. On the three, this actually does connect. Blast gun heal, so the thief is just fine. Magistron hits everyone, which is pretty good for Asakawa. See a jump onto the ninja. And the paladin still continues to sing. Geomancer will probably capitalize on, yep, on the ninja. And that's going to get combined with the jump. And the hose will go off onto the, um, onto the feet. Once again, the arch is there to keep that thief in check. But he's going to have to revive the ninja, though. Geomancer will definitely be able to lay down the sandbag. Lance we can jump on the ninja. Now the power switches to cheer song. Not sure how wise that really is. Geomancer goes for Mimic Derivon. Puts the thief and the archer to sleep. And jump KOs the uh, ninja. Alright then. He does not go down. Now the pal now the pal switches over to Angel Song. So he can resume uh, the singing, of course. Jump onto the archer. There's a race two under that ninja. And jump hit to see if the Geomancer can capitalize on. Yes, he will. A don't move proc on the archer. So far, Reno is in uh, a bit of trouble, actually, to be honest with you. The ninja can't get across, or can he? I'm not sure yet. Wayfist hits, despite Abandon. And combo that with the Holy, takes out the ninja. Geomancer is still hasted, mind you, so he can get a turn at any moment. Paladin goes for nerves and then just rushes to the side. And Wayfist hits through Abandon again. Reno's been getting pretty unlucky here. Geomancer goes for a death sentence, 76% and it misses! Wow, very, very lucky for Reno at that time, extremely lucky. Freeze jumps across enemy territory, goes for a sinkhole so there'll be no race to on Ninja, forcing the Thief to do a Phoenix down instead. And again, Reno gets unlucky. But the Geomancer uh, kisses the floor. He should be right there for a race too, though, as will the time age, but she's gonna stop the scene instead. Priest is going to wisely go for the race too, and does bring back the Geomancer. Okay, this time Reno's able to block the Earth Slash. Geomancer again gets hit really hard. And the time should be able to finish off the Nope, he's gonna go for more sinkhole. Damage split though, however. And 210 gam damage dusty win. That's, that's because of all those MA saves. So 
DLO, Demi spell coming up. Oh, but throw stone. But Ninja eats a counter flood. But yeah, that Geomancer is down once again. Southern Cross from the Paladin. Crits the Thief. And not and but unfortunately he knocked him in the range of pure three, so. Nothing really be, nothing really useful being done there. Lancer does block at least. The priest might want to race through that Geomancer again, and she's going to. Oh! Too bad. That archer was able to nail that priest just in the nick of time with just the right amount of hit points. Letter 19 now comes from that Lancer. I don't think this is gonna end very well for Asagawa, uh, Asakawa, excuse me. So now it's 4 on 1, no revival left, and that paladin's royally screwed. He does take me raise off though, but I don't think it's gonna matter. There goes the rubber shoes, and yeah, this is pretty much it. Iron Well's not gonna help matters at, at all. Alright, so Reno, good job. You will be moving on. And that's Akawa. You are going down to the Doom Train.